2012's SOS Awards competition winner is Ian Stevenson, a classically trained guitarist who spends his summer months as a mountain guide exploring the peaks of the Isle of Skye. It's a sound on sound tradition that we help the winner install their prizes, and so it was that he, Rob Johns, myself, and publisher Andy Brooks found ourselves driving from Inverness Airport to the Isle of Skye during a cool November. Why couldn't it have been Droitwich? Ian's studio is located close to the Talisker Whiskey Distillery, and it's set up in a very long, narrow loft space with sloping side walls and, as we discovered, little in the way of headroom. The views were pretty great, though, and despite the room's odd shape, the sound from Ian's existing KRK monitors was pretty even. Our first job was to clear away Ian's existing studio gear, which was centred around a Cubase PC, perched on a piece of chipboard spanning two shelf storage units. Once we'd cleared the space, I took a spin around the room with Ian's vacuum cleaner, before we set to assemble the rather lovely AKA studio desk that was to support his new system. The desk was easy enough to assemble, requiring only a minimum of tools. There was plenty of space for the computer keyboard, Ian's KRK monitors, his new computer monitor, and the Avid Artist control surface that came with his new system. The desk also had two bays for housing rack equipment. In all, the prize comprised an Avid M-Box 4x4 channel interface and a Pro Tools 9-door software package, a very quiet scanned computer's PC complete with HD monitor, the Avid Artist control surface and the AKA desk. There was also an SC4400A microphone, plus a SE stand and RF Pro reflection filter, oh yes, and an M Audio Axiom Pro 61 MIDI controller keyboard. Ian liked the idea of the Axiom Pro 61 as it includes assignable controls and a drum pad section, which he said would make life easier for him when entering drum parts. Thoughtfully, Ian had supplied a bottomless barrel of hobnob biscuits and he kept us furnished with tea and coffee. We tested the finished system by recording a bit of a jam session of Ian on his acoustic guitar and myself on one of his electric instruments. The system seemed rock solid and the recording sounded just as clean as we'd expected. We finished off by recording a chat with Ian and then we set off on the long journey home. Here we are in the Isle of Skye and it's been a beautiful day out there today. A little bit of rain but some fantastic rainbows and things. And I'm here with Ian who is the winner of the SOS Awards uh, from earlier in this year. Hey. And um, hey, um, well, we set it all up. Um, this went together beautifully, didn't it? It's a oh, fantastic yeah, yeah desk. it's a dream. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a yeah. little bit like a, a, a posh IKEA. Yeah, flat but it's pack, comfier really. than IKEA, I'll tell you. That. And it looks a lot nicer, too. Yeah, I'll beautiful sure. desk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then because the part of the prize was a PC, of course, Paul wouldn't go anywhere near that. In fact, he's at the far end of the room, staying well away from it even now. Um, so we had to put the PC together. Well, the PC mm -hmm. came in one unit. We had to take out some, some packaging from inside. Uh, and then just install the software and get it all up and running. Yeah, yeah. We had a, a few slightly rough words with getting the, the Yukon to go because we forgot to, to do an yeah. attach mode. Yeah. Well, I know with my own experience of installing software, uh, usually when I do it, there's lots of four-letter words, things go flying out the windows and things like that. So I was quite impressed that, <laughs> you know, A, that it's not only me that sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get things sorted, but B, that people can do it without actually using the expletives. Yeah, so we were, quite we were quite, yeah. Quite, yeah. quite well controlled, I think, there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we've installed the um, the Mbox interface, uh, the um, uh, the controller, which is very nice indeed. Um, got all the software installed and up and running, and there were a few upgrades and updates and things to do as well. Yeah. Um, the easiest thing to install was the the keyboard, actually, wasn't it? That yeah, just, straight That in. was a joy, yeah, straight in, straight no problem in, at all. Yeah. And we had to set you up with an iLock account for Pro Tools. Yes. Um, yes. So you've been typing your your details into the machine repeatedly. Oh, several times. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, it looks beautiful. It's all up and running. And uh, we've even done some test recordings, some Pink Floyd music between you and Paul. Yeah, Paul and I were having a little jam. Duet yeah, on, yeah, the, yeah, on the guitars yeah, there. It was, yeah, it's uh, getting there. Yeah. And it's nice to see, just straight off camera, I mean, I've used Pro Tools maybe once before, but just kind of looking over your shoulder while you were doing that and we were playing, I can say, oh, yeah, you know, it kind of looks familiar, so I'm keen to get my hands on it. And, yeah, you know. well, it's very nice, and yeah. the fact that all this works. Oh, this is great. It's, uh, yeah. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I mean, there's a... Um, this is this is a very enticing control system. It's so much nicer yeah. to work with uh, with the hardware controller, I think. Yeah, just so much more tactile. Yeah, good. Well, enjoy it. I, I certainly will do. All yes, right. and thank you very much for all your help it's, and all your efforts to get it together. It's, it's been our pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Ian. You're welcome. Good. So, um, Ian, you're a 
normally a Cubase user. So with this Pro Tools rig here, what do you envisage in the future apart from a bit of a learning curve? Uh, well, I'm quite interested to see what Pro Tools can do because people are telling me that it's very good for audio and I'm a kind of an audio-based musician. You know, I record acoustic instruments and guitars and things. I mean, I do use MIDI as well, mm. but I'm certainly keen to find out what it can do in terms of audio editing and that sort of thing. Yeah. And using any kind of new tool gives you new skills. So, I mean, for me, it's just a voyage of tinkering and discovery and finding out what you can do with music uh, in terms of recording. So having some new tools will open up whole loads of new yeah. doors. Yeah. And it's certainly a gorgeous system. I mean, this, this desk is fabulous, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's great, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm really jealous I want yeah. one of these. <laughs> And of course, you have a new controller keyboard here from Axiom, which has got mm -hmm. the drum pads on. And you were saying that you do a little drum programming, but you do it normally uh, as a non-drummer. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really a drummer, and certainly, I'm um, I'm sure people who tried it will know. You know, painting drums on with the mouse is, is really kind of tedious, uh, and tapping drums on with keys. But yeah, having pads is, is yeah, it will be it will be quite a useful addition mm. to my kind of inputting ability. So I guess you'll also be loading Cubase onto the system when you've got the time so that you can hop backwards and forwards between the two programs. Uh, yeah, but I mean, a, a primary thing at the moment, I mean, I'm quite familiar with Cubase, but so I'm going to sit around and discover this for quite a while, you know, hmm. and then I'll, you know, and then, yes, I'll get onto it and be transferring projects from one to the other. Hmm. And though I'm not uh, known for my affinity to PCs, this one is exceptionally quiet and very powerful. It's disturbingly quiet, yeah. It's a sort of, if it didn't have a blue light on the front, you'd have no idea it was there, you know, you'd have no idea it was on. Yeah, yeah it's a lovely thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, later you can probably incorporate one of your spare monitors into this because, of course, it's got a dual header video card as well. It does, yeah. So, so yeah, I'll, uh, eventually, again, I'll get, I'll get two monitors up. Mm. But, you know, I've got a lot to do just... just get into grips with all the stuff that, that you very kindly brought with you, you know. I mean, having a new control surface is going to be amazing as well. Yes, well yeah. this is a particularly nice control surface and both yeah. uh, both one of the other staff members and myself are very jealous of this. Uh, it's screwed down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well thanks very much Ian, You're we ho welcome. hope you enjoy the new setup and yeah, thank you very uh, hope much we find our way yeah. back before yeah. the penguins and the ice recede. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>